Gestational diabetes mellitus is defined as diabetes that develops in pregnancy and often ends in the postpartum period. So with regards to assessing a patient for the probability of them having GDM, it's important to consider their risk factors. And many of these are the same as the risk factors for diabetes mellitus. So obesity, a family history of diabetes, and also uh, being of an ethnic group that is known to have a high prevalence of diabetes, uh, all of which would contribute towards an increased risk of GDM. Uh, but regarding GDM specifically, having previously had a macrosomic baby uh, with a birth weight of more than 4.5 kilos or previously having gestational diabetes are both uh, big risk factors. So at the early antenatal checkups, patients will be asked for a urine sample to do urine dipstick and glycosuria may be the first way that it's identified early on in the pregnancy. So this is just a screening test. To actually confirm a diagnosis of GDM, you need either a fasting plasma glucose or an oral glucose tolerance test. And the thresholds that are used for diagnosing GDM uh, are kind of different from the ones used for diabetes. So a fasting plasma glucose of 5.6 or more is suggestive of GDM. And an oral glucose tolerance test result at two hours of 7.8 or more is also diagnostic of GDM. So the way that it is managed depends largely on the fasting plasma glucose at the time of diagnosis. So if it is greater than or equal to 7, then insulin is started straight away, and this may be combined with metformin. If it is less than 7, so between 5.6 and 7, diet and exercise may be trialled for a couple of weeks to see whether it will bring about a uh, satisfactory improvement in the fasting plasma glucose. If it hasn't, then metformin can be added. And if that alone is insufficient to manage the blood glucose levels, then insulin can also be added. The reason that GDM is important to diagnose and treat is because it's associated with a number of risks during the pregnancy. So uh, the baby is more likely to be macrosomic, which in turn increases the likelihood of a traumatic birth, uh, needing induction of labor and C-section. And there's also a few other complications like neonatal hypoglycemia and perinatal death. So it is something that's relatively common and needs to be picked up early on so that the glucose can be managed.